Good morning. My name is Dr. Ivy Brannon. I'm a naturopathic doctor here in New York City, and we've been getting together every morning around 8 a.m. for what I call a breathing circle, and it's a time for us to tap into the breath because more than ever, we, we really want to cultivate that appreciation for breath uh, with, with everything that's going on, not just because we're maybe we're anxious or stressed out, but also um, you know, sending, sending some good, loving feelings um, towards those who unfortunately are having difficulty breathing right now. And you know, yesterday, yesterday morning, uh, I talked about this concept of set point. So again, you know, when we get together, it's just we're just taking a few minutes and acting as a witness, but like really kind of like this idea of getting into set point. And that made me think about, um, so even with like everything that's going on, uh, I'm still dancing most mornings. Uh, I take ballet, um, that's like my big passion. And my ballet teacher, Svi Gothener, he says, you're either at bar or you're at center. And I was like thinking, oh, that's actually such a great metaphor for when we think about uh, breath and breathing. Uh, so so far, work if you are not familiar with like ballet class, is the the first part of the class where you're literally holding onto the bar and you're working through the different movements, and then then you go into at the the later part of the class you're going into center. And and this idea is like that the the bar work facilitates getting to understand like the different movements so that you can go into the center. Now what's different about the center versus the bar besides that part is that in the center is like that's where all the action comes. So yes we, we, we had developed something at the bar, we, we perfected it, we were calm, and then life happens which is center. So your, your fellow dancer went left when you should have got when they should have gone right or you, you went into a pique. Um, I'm not gonna get into all the different dance terminology because unless, like, unless you dance, it's gonna be quite boring. But this idea of when we go into this practice of witnessing the breath, we can then be more flexible as uh, life is constantly in motion. And so kind of, again, like tapping into this idea of of set point and, and seeing what what is my normal my quote unquote normal state and how does that look as I, I go out my day so kind of thinking about um, you know taking some time this morning to to as we're here witnessing the breath to to really to kind of think about that um, so yeah so just you know, take a comfortable seat whatever that looks like this morning and again we're not doing any kind of crazy breath we're just we're just basically witnessing and seeing what what um, what comes up in how we're breathing this morning so just um, take a comfortable seat I have get my have my hands on my lap this morning that's kind of where uh, where I'm gravitating to so <sighs>
because I'm sitting here, and, you know, it's it's kind of funny that I I brought up the whole ballet class analogy. You know, when we start at bar, you know, typically you always start with like a plie exercise, which is um, going through the different positions of bending the legs, and and there's sort of the the, the dipping down and then the rising up, and such a great um, something kind of to really work about, like look into with, with the lungs as they, they rise and fall, kind of sort of like the same thing as we, when we're at, at bar, our bodies are the bend of the knees going down and then the straightening back up of the legs as we come up. There's also sort of this like, this subtle rhythmic quality as we go through the plie, kind of something, I don't know, maybe I'll work with that later today as I'm at bar, or my chair bar, um, how I can kind of like, oh, what if the plie and my lungs, I wonder what that would feel like if they like kind of came together, so just, just something that came up for me right now. I'm gonna let that go. Thank you so much for joining me this morning around eight o'clock. And uh, not that I need to promote other people's businesses or whatever, but if you if you'd like to join me at bar today, later today, uh, this morning at, at 10 a.m., uh, you can go to speeddance.com and click on his classes. And it's a great class if, you, if you're wanting to get into some dance today. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for joining me for this breathing circle. And whether you're dancing later today or doing whatever it is that you've been doing, um, hopefully it will be a meaningful day for you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.